Hey everyone, another self-isolation bonus video where we go back in time, taking a look at those features that were in Pro Engineer back in the late 80s and early 1990s that still exist in the software, but they're hidden in the interface with good reasons. All right, this time we're going to take a look at the flange feature, and that again is one of the anatomic features. In order to be able to use these features, you have to change a config.pro option called allow anatomic features from the default value of no to a value of yes. Then you'll be able to locate them in the interface using the command search and also you can add them to additional tabs. So this flange feature, yeah, there's really no reason to have this in the software anymore. Let's take a look at it. I'll click on flange and then we get some options in here for the angle of the feature. You can use 90, 180, 270, or 360 by default, or you can use variable in order to plug in those values later. You can also do the feature on one side of your sketch plane or both sides of your sketch plane. So this is sort of like controlling the depth angle in two directions. Actually, it's both sides, it's more like doing a symmetric angle. All right, let's click done out of here. And now we are prompted to select or create a sketching plane. Let me turn on my datum plane visibility and I'm going to sketch on this datum plane over here. Now we have an arrow for the direction of feature creation. I'm going to flip that to go in the other direction and then click OK. Now we have to choose a side of the computer screen, top, bottom, right, or left for setting up our orientation reference plane. I'm going to choose to face the top of the screen, the datum plane called top. And again, I always like to show people, hey, look at that old make datum command. All right. Pick the datum plane called top. I am now in sketch mode. Let me add some sketch references in here. Grab the silhouette edge there. Let me hit the solve button. Now I can turn off my datums. I don't need them. And let's go to our sketch view. Okay, so the sketch for this feature has to be an open sketch and it has to start and end on part geometry. So I'm just going to sketch a few different lines over here. This is good. Uh, let's change some of these different dimensions. Let's make this a value of 150. Uh, change both of these to 50. All right, now that I have my sketch created, another thing that is needed in here is a center line for your axis of revolution. Back in the day, even when you were creating revolved protrusions and cuts, you used to have to put the center line in the sketch and that was even before they had the center line datum available in here so anyhow i've got my sketch let's right mouse click and hold and use the check mark to get out of sketch mode now it's prompting me for the angle of the feature now let me do it an angle of 90 degrees and so here we have that feature revolve through 90 degrees let's take a look at edit definition i will change some of the attributes I'll click the done button and instead of having it one side let's choose both sides and then choose done and it updates so now it's putting 45 degrees on each side of my sketch plane let's do one more edit definition you'll notice since we did both sides direction is now grayed out let's do attributes and done and change this to be 360 degrees and really one side, both sides, doesn't matter in this case. Hit the done button. Uh, let's click OK for the direction. And there we have it through 360 degrees. So obviously this flange feature, this is nothing more than a revolve. The revolve tool does everything that the flange tool does. Again, really no point in having it in the interface. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're staying home. I hope you're staying healthy. I hope you're staying safe. And we're going to get through this together.